And now switching gears to weather. Let's get you ready for your St. Patrick's Day weekend. Early look at your St. Patty's Day forecast. Uh, Going to be a pleasant day overall. Temperatures pretty comfortable. We'll start around 63 degrees if you're uh, getting an early start on uh, Sunday morning around 9 a.m. 67 by the time we hit about 1 p.m. And we'll peak right around the 70 degree mark uh, heading into the afternoon and evening. Good amount of sunshine in store for us on St. Patty's Day, but clouds will be gaining a bit of a firmer hold as we head into the second half of the day with just a very minute chance of a passing shower later on. But as uh, far as our current uh, time frame is concerned, the morning showers and storms that we had coming through with some heavy downpours, frequent rumbles of thunder well to the southeast of us and uh, barely clinging to life at that. You could see a mere shadow of their former selves when they rolled through the upstate and western North Carolina. More of the energy for the storm sustaining at this point, moving closer to the Gulf Coast in southern Alabama and Mississippi. And this cold front to the north of us that's actually kind of the prime instigator for that massive line of storms that originally spanned from Ohio to Oklahoma yesterday. That is eventually going to pass through the area, but not for another couple of days. So for tomorrow, we're actually going to see temperatures fairly akin to where they were yesterday, back to the middle and some upper 70s. Before then, we see a cool down into next week. And for a brief period next week, by the way, it is going to be a pretty sharp cool down. But let's talk 24 hours, next 24 hours here first on your future track, heading from now through the 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock time frame. Uh, we'll just continue to kind of hold in this mostly cloudy pattern here, but it'll be more high clouds at this point, so it'll at least be thinning out a bit. Fast forward to 11 o'clock. A lot of us start to see some clearing across the upstate with those clouds proving a bit more stubborn for much of the night for folks in western North Carolina. Just kind of the consequence of those winds shifting into the northwest coming up and over from the Tennessee side. Uh, while it will be generally a clearer night and morning tomorrow in the upstate, there may be some patchy fog region wide for you to contend with. But then the rest of our Saturday is in great shape. Mostly sunny skies take back over. Pleasant breeze. Warm temps for the afternoon as well. And then we'll look ahead a little further to tomorrow evening. Also looking to be in good shape. Sunday morning, St. Patty's Day starts off with some sunshine, but there you see it. Clouds start to really filter in during the afternoon. And I think by about 4 to 6 p.m., again, very little chance, but chance nonetheless for a couple of pop-up showers to roll back in across the area. Before tonight, mostly cloudy skies lingering in the mountains. Some patchy fog late, low temp around 49 degrees. Mid-50s for your low temps in the upstate tonight, even as those clouds decrease. Also, keep an eye out for some patchy fog by daybreak. St. Patty's Day weekend, mostly sunny, 76 for tomorrow. Great day. And then St. Patrick's Day back down to 70 with the variable clouds. Fast forward to Monday and incidentally enough, the first day of spring rolling in late on Tuesday. We'll go from a high of 61 Monday to 57 on Tuesday. And that, by the way, coming with a uh, nighttime temperature on Monday that'll dip well down into the low 30s. And for the mountains, mid 60s to 70s over the weekend. And also looking at that sharp cool down Monday into Tuesday of next week. Now